What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to The Division 2. Now we have finally unlocked a lot of things here in Downtown East. So as you can see, lots of points of interest here. Also some question marks like in other RPGs nowadays. So you'd never really know what's behind them and we have to do them as well. Why do we have to do them? Well, because we have also unlocked now the projects. So here we have the projects and those are kind of like daily quests that you get and you get uh, experience points out of them, blueprints for crafting and also here and there a bounty so that's a special enemy that you can hunt down then um, once you've done that so for example these three daily quests here resupply a friendly control point 50 times complete activities and recover tech cages and here for example donate steel donate chest armor that is a donation one and the salvage a crew is donate polycarbonate donate gloves and disrupt public execution that's pro uh, that's one of the question marks that you can see on the map so those are the daily quests that we have right now resupply a friendly control point and that's a good one because we already are here at a control point that we've taken you know with the cranes in the last episode and here we do have a control point officer now if i talk with him i can donate stuff like for example i don't have food and water at the moment i do have components 25 so we can donate 25 components to him he will be happier i do get some experience points out of this one here and now also some progress there on my daily quest for resupplying the control point so that's something we always have to do while we are on our hunt here in the open world to do something. Now the rain is gone, the sun is coming up again in this beautiful world. That's just perfect because we are out here again for some hunting. Now while I'm also continuing my hunts, let's have a look at my character real quick. He is looking okay, but we found some stuff actually that's well looking quite good I'd say so here we have our chests that we have now and we found a few things here none of them is particularly interesting right now but we do have some nice trousers here some nice pants and over here I think yes much more so this one looks rather shaggy and stuff like that you know ruggy and this one here looks much better than so let's take this one um, those pants there we can also even choose some well um, accessories here on the back on our backpack here something that we can have down here and yeah let's have lincoln on it for now actually no let's have a dinosaur on it that's much funnier and we can also have for example here some um scarf that we want to and also some well headset here if we want to let's choose the headset actually let's let's look like a real agent and also some sunglasses that i found the legendary one that's looking pretty cool and also this one here but let's take actually the honor guard glasses here to well do look like a bit of an age and it's summer after all there's the sun and we don't want to be blinded by the sun very important and with that yeah we're looking a bit more like an agent but of course there are so many um outfit options that you have in this game it's incredible and you find those things everywhere and well perhaps we find something even better and we should also look out for well some of those resources that we find here here and there like water and food is so important for the donations there is a chest for example but that is usually something for um yeah crafting polycarbonate and over here we have a shade tech cage let's open here the door and there we have another chest for it some chests something here for crafting that is for armor so another chest item and over here we have the shade tech catch we need to find three now four actually in downtown east for our daily quest and also well another communication device about aaron keener Well, and Aaron Keener, that's one of the first agents that went rogue. So he turned sides and he's going to be the main protagonist or antagonist in the add-on, Wallace of Draenor. So that's going to be interesting. And let's have a look at the map here real quick. There is a question mark. So there's something random that we can do, some activity um, for the daily quests. So let's have a look over there. They usually offer some either some very strong opponents, some good loot, or even both of it. And over there we can already see the first enemies. Let's get his weak point there. And as you can see there's some toxic gases coming out of it then. Stunning them. And 
she's actually preparing something there. Oh yeah, and it's a speaker propaganda. So let's have a look over there. Propaganda pro uh, broadcast. Speaker override. So we need to override the system again and of course need to defend this point. And over there more are coming. Oh, there's also something here. A lighter. Nothing too useful. And there some enemies. Oh! That's an access key, that's not a loot. If it would be a loot, it would be amazing because that is um, very high quality. But it's a quest objective that we need to collect. Okay, and there's the key. Let's take the key and insert it into the propaganda speaker. That's that, and some more enemies are coming once again over here, it seems. Backup request. Another backup request, we're not doing that for now. Backup requests are really funny once you reach the end game, where you can help people, because usually they're fighting some really extremely difficult bosses or something like that, and you get some good fight out of it quickly, and also some good loot, of course. And there's this car coming again. Those buggies. I need my rifle for that. Bit more precise. Oh boy, come on. That was a headshot. One more. Very good. For a nice and clean shot. Okay, we still need to do something. I think we still need to have a manual override here once again. Yep. And that's it already. That was an easy one, so we get some experience points out of it and mountain hiking packs or backpack as an upgrade probably. And then we just continue here on our way to... We could now grind some of those shade attack cages. Oh, and drinking water. That might be important. If he says that, but I don't see anything. No. Very important for those projects then, so we can finish them. And let's just continue over here. I'm just going to collect that shade catch. And then we actually want to go for, I think, the next mission, right? So there's a side mission down here and a control point. Let's actually do both of them. Food supplies detected. Okay, there we're coming closer now to the control point. And let's just see if there's anything else here that we might collect, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, there's something. Oh, and there are actually also some of them for the control point, I guess. And this guy here who was rushing towards me. And there are a lot of enemies at one spot, so let's try to throw a grenade at them. Take them out at once. Perhaps we can do that. Nah. So easy. It's not the control point yet, but they dropped something for me here. Body armor, very good. And there's also one of those baggages. Again, usually they have something nice. There's a small diamond in it. Sometimes there's also some outfit items in one of them. Let's just continue. Actually, we should be... We actually should be in the control point now. Alrighty, there's the entrance. We can now call for allies once again. And with that we start the assault, so we could just wait for them now, or we can try it ourselves. And usually, of course, we try it off ourselves. Guess we can get up there. Oh. Someone's got a heavy machine gun there. Probably heal ourselves. Very good. That's the end of them. I hope I did not overlook anyone. Oh yeah, there's someone lurking over there. Heavily 
An enemy leader is coming. Oh, 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 they're coming out there. Oh, there's the leader. Down there, let's throw a grenade and get him out of there. Okay, there's no one in here. I hope they're not coming out of there again. And there is the leader. Oh, yeah, not quite down there. Now he's down. Very good. Control point cleared, but that's of course not the end of it. I think they're going to attack again. Let's restock there real quick. And we should now go over there because I think my reinforcements are running right into the enemies there. Where are my reinforcements anyway? Okay, there they are, very good. Helping me now, and there's also another leader coming. And I think we do have a daily quest for control points, right? We should have something like that. And over there is the leader. Getting quite foggy now. That's a rusher. Let's kill her quickly. Oh, and yeah, that was a grenade. That's it. We've taken the control point. Get some experience points, perhaps even level 5. Nope, not level 5, but what's more important is the supply room that we get over here. Very good for some good loot. Oh, a rifle, very good. A blue one. Some gloves. Some steel. Polycarbonate and another weapon here. Light machine gun. Well, we don't really need it, but I'm also full on my inventory. Three, um, let's get the rifle here, very good, and destroy the other weapons. So we can just mark all of them, and then just deconstruct the junk and get um, some components out of it that we can then use for crafting. Let's also have a nice backpack there, and gloves. I definitely found some good gloves here, yes, with some additional armor. Very good. This is also looking pretty good some more armor that we can use here. And we also have some cages. So those cages you get when you finish a mission or a quest. And we do get a weapon out of this one, a good one, a glove. And oh, this is looking like a sniper. Yeah, this is a rifle with lots of damage, but less RPM. So in this case here, for the blue one, Let's let's stick with the blue one because I can shoot much more with that. But let's have a look here at the light machine gun. No, that's not really important. Very good. So we don't need that. Now we can get the loot there and continue our journey. So we are down here now at the control point that we've just cleared. We could now, of course, also resupply that control point. But I actually want to do the side mission there, the Empire Auto Motel. So let's get over here. There are also two shade tech cages on the way that we can collect, I think at least. Yep. Oh, and there's also an activity once again. We could also do the activity there. Okay, and there's the shade tech cage, but there's also something else here. Territory control. All right, and I ran right into it, it seems. Alrighty, there's someone over here, a veteran. Oh, and we can get up there because I think, yep, the shade cage is also up here. And someone was shooting from up here, but I don't see him. Oh, <laughs> coming in from behind. Very good. 
Oh, and we should hurry up, probably. Yep. That's the rusher. I have no idea what she's doing there. That's the end of her. Very good. And also another one down there. Perfect. Oh, retrieve cage key. We probably should take this. Yep. Open the gear stash. It's also up there, I think. And we also have the shade tag. So the shade tag that we're collecting there, those cages, they're very uh, important for your skills. So you can upgrade your skills, you can buy new skills with them. So you need quite a lot of them. And that's why we collect them first of all and second of all because now as you can see on the left side recover the shade tag cages in downtown east is completed so that is one of the project missions that we had and also another rifle very good but we have a good one so i'm not going to bother and where is the open the gear stash is that in here there are things in here a tank top black okay Plastic bottle. Nothing really important in here. Over there is something. Some water and some components. Very good. Oh yes, and we can open that door. It's a bit tricky because not all of those doors are glowing all the time. Okay, some more gloves that we don't need at the moment. Some steel, that's important. And a matchbook. But where is that gear stash? Nope, it's not over there. Then it's probably down there somewhere. Let's have a look. He's guiding me down here. Oh, it's probably this one. Yeah, that's the gear stash. Let's take it and some knee pads there. And with that, perimeter secured. We get a bit of uh, experience points out of it. Oh, and there's also a door in here with some high-quality stuff, it seems. Oh, yes, but we are full again. And right now, I just don't bother because you don't need to equip those guy, uh, those items there all the time. So let's continue to the Empire Autumn Hotel quest. Some hyenas got their hands on a shade tech cash. They took it to a hotel they used for sorting all the goods they pillaged from civilians and rival factions. Recover it and bring it back to the White House. All right, you will do that. So those side missions are not repeatable. You just do them once for some experience and for the story. And the main missions are like dungeons working then later on. Okay, so gain access to the hotel first. Then we have the first enemies. It's again, let's use the environment there too. He's burning as you can see, making it quite easy to kill him. Oh, and there's someone in a behind a shield. That's a new type of enemy. So in this case, with the shield, we do need to use the rifle there. Because then I can aim at his feet and do some damage to him. And very good. We also got a level up. Level... <laughs> I have no idea what level I am. Five. Five. Very good. Get another proficiency cage there. And some health that we need. Okay. What's going on here? Some dead people. The cache is a built in locator. I've got a read on his position. Looks like it's somewhere below you. Somewhere below me, okay. Looking quite shaggy in this hotel here. I would not want to sleep here. Some water, very good. Now let's switch back to my assault rifle since it's close combat. Oh, and there is a machine. They usually give you water or food. And this one will give me drink, soda. Very good. So that's something we can boost, uh, like a buff food. You can use that to buff your stats, your endurance, your damage. Stuff like that. And right. Just some normal enemies, so I'm not wasting any grenades or something like that on normal enemies usually. 
There's a sniper over there. Right, you recover. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. Very good. Multiple hostiles inbound. Right, that was to be expected. Missions are usually not that short. And that's a pretty good weapon, so I can kill like two enemies with one magazine. That was a rusher again, or it is a rusher. <laughs> it's coming towards me there. And that sniper thinks he's smart, but he's taking quite a long time there to aim. Righty, that's the end of it. Leave the hotel. Let's see, this will not be the end of this mission here. I have a feeling. The exit is up ahead. Time to check out. Okay, there we can throw a grenade over to them. Let's wait and boom. Quite a lot of enemies there. It's a perfect target for my rifle again. Bad angle. This is much better. Very good. Leave the hotel. Let's have a look. Good work. Oh, that was actually the mission. Okay, fine. It was a short mission then. No deep story in this one here. And we do get some shade tech, that's important though. So that's the, the good thing here. And also some experience points as usual. And whatever is happening right now, we do have a sandstorm or something like that. But it looks nice. Beautiful graphics there. And with that atmospheric impression, we're going to leave it at now. And then we'll continue with some of the main missions. Stay tuned.